If you didn't know, tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, and if you want to step up your celebration with some added springtime cocktails, we've got you covered. Joining us now with easy and simple cocktail recipes is lifestyle and entertaining expert, Paul Zahn. Paul, thanks so much for joining us again. Thanks for having me. Forget about Thanksgiving. Who cares about <laughs> Valentine's Day? St. Patrick's Day is a day I can really get behind. Me too. That's the day we all love to drink and celebrate and have a good time. Exactly. It's all about celebrating. And I'm Irish, so I can drink double, right? Oh, perfect. You can. <laughs> responsibly, though. Exactly. Course. Always responsibly. Well, so, speaking of, let's yes. start over here. First up, we are going to start with a fun signature cocktail, which is pretty easy. So this is a stout and soda. It's two simple ingredients. First up, we have some Jameson Irish whiskey, but this is their stout edition. So what they do is they take their triple distilled delicious Irish whiskey and they finish it in barrels that have been seasoned with Irish craft beer. So wow. you have the best of both worlds. You know, so you get the, a little whiskey and you get and a little beer. It's finished in the beer. So it has a great wow. flavor profile, which is wonderful because you don't have to like mix it down or anything like that. You just put some soda in there and voila, you have the and perfect that's this one, right? easy drink. Yes. Okay, so should I try um, this? I mean, you can try it. Let's see. Let's get the get the taste test, see what's up. All right, Fingers here we crossed. go, everybody. Um, and so we're also going to do a fun little cocktail. Ooh, what do you think? I like that. Yes. It's really good. Now, I yes. like the garnish, too. You know, citrus is in. We citrus always is need in. some citrus. And it's not too strong, I will say that. No. With the mix, it kind of levels it out a yeah, little bit. Yeah, it's nice, easy drinking. And then we also have a boiler maker. So for those of you who don't know what a boiler maker is, what it is, it's a shot of Irish whiskey and okay. then an Irish beer. So you can either do the shot and then drink the beer, or you can sip them both, depending on you know what mood you're in on this St. Patrick's Day. So. Just these two, easy breezy, absolutely delicious for St. Patrick's Day. Don't they also sometimes call those car bombs? If you add some Baileys. Now, Jessica, the extraordinary <laughs> producer, is also a master mixologist, I guess, because she said we were talking about you know, what is an Irish car bomb? Yeah. And it's these two and some Irish cream. Okay, so, so you add the cream and that makes it the Irish car bomb. You're gonna have so. to ask Jessica. I mean, it's been a few <laughs> years since I've had one, but we'll have to ask her. Okay, um, but that is a really fun way to yes, celebrate, for sure. Yes. Um, next up, we're moving into some fun spring cocktails. Now, with spring cocktails, you put away the pomegranates, get rid of the clementines, get rid of all those winter fruits, and we're gonna work in some fun uh, spring fruits, like some lemons. So we are gonna do a delicious uh, cognac sour right now. So I'm taking an ice mixing tin. I'm doing one part of some fresh lemon juice. So I'm doing... Nothing's better than that. No, you got to do lemon. fresh, nothing out of the bottle. So we are doing, that's about one lemon squeezed. Mm -hmm. Then we're doing one part of some honey, like so. And this is going <laughs> to take gonna, a minute to go gonna in. And it's going to tell you, Paul, I'm going to come out real yes, slow Yes, this is going to move slow. And then while that's <laughs> moving in there, we are going to do two parts of some Martell Blue Swift. Okay. So Martell Blue Swift is a delicious drink that is cognac based. So it's cognac VSOP, which means very special, old pale. It needs very to be aged a minimum of four years. Yes, there won't be a quiz later. <laughs> And sometimes you see XO, <laughs> that means extra old. Uh -huh. So And it's we, this one, right? You yeah, add, you're, can I'm add putting it? you to work. I'm putting you to work. We're doing I'm an exologist too, I guess. two parts of that. And this has some a great um, plum to it, some great cherries to it. And cherries are another wonderful fruit for spring. So we are going to shake this up. Mm -hmm. Shake, shake, shake. Got an extra shake because the honey is, you know, viscous. So you yeah. want to really get it dissipated. And will it, it blend pretty well? It will blend. You just got to shake it. Perfect. It's the longest shake I think I've ever done with you, Olivia. <laughs> I think it is too. And you can serve this on the rocks, but I am going to serve it in a fun little coupe glass, like so. Oh. And awesome. voila, we have a Ooh, blue okay. swift sour. Blue swift sour, yes. everybody. Now, yes. first, I want to smell it. It smells. Ooh, I can smell the honey. I can smell the lemon. It smells so good. So this is blending. You got the sweetness, citrus, and then the spirit. So those are the three components Ooh. that go into a cocktail. Typically. I really, really like that because I think the blend. I think the honey balances out the the acidity mm -hmm. with the citrus. Well, the lemon. Excuse yes. me. So I think that balances out a little bit, but it's so delicious. It's, it's not too for strong. Spring, right? It really is a really yes. nice taste of spring, everybody. Okay, next up we are what I've mixed up here is a really delicious gin cocktail with some monkey 47 dry gin. So monkey 47 is made from 47 different ingredients, botanicals, different fruits, everything like that. This is made in um, the the Black Forest in Germany. Mm -hmm. So it's a really delicious gin. And what I've done is I put some orange sherbet, rather some lemon sherbet because we're doing spring fruit. <laughs> I did some sparkling wine and then I just put some baby's breath in there and it's delicious, easy drinking, perfect. And this gin has nice citrus to it. So it's a perfect drink. However, I do have one more drink. Okay, you okay. have one more. <clears throat> Last but certainly not least, we, I was just chatting with somebody backstage here about bourbon and they said, oh, bourbon seems like a winter drink, but 
the way to take bourbon from winter to summer is again incorporating some of those fresh spring fruits. So what I did was I took some strawberries, I muddled them in there, and then I put a little cherry juice because March ah. is National Berries and Cherries Month for I people didn't that know didn't. That. Know that. You know, I'm just bringing all the knowledge. Bringing all the knowledge. <laughs> so we muddled some of those strawberries, put some cherry juice in there, and then we are squeezing some lemon in here. And a whole one, right? You're going to do another whole yeah, lemon. Yeah, we're going to do another whole lemon because we're, again, we're bringing in a different element with some ginger beer towards the end. So we're balancing the citrus the spice and then we are actually putting in two ounces of some Jefferson's Reserve bourbon so this is a wonderfully blended bourbon that was crafted by a gentleman named Trey Zoller who's all about blending so one of the most important parts when creating spirits that blend different types of spirits that have been aged in different barrels is the blending process. Mm. And this is his eighth generation grandmother in 1799 was arrested for wow. bootlegging, basically. So <laughs> liquor runs in their family and she seems pretty cool. I, mean, I was gonna say a boss grandma. Yeah, Love that. she's a bootlegger. <laughs> We're putting some ice in there and then we are just topping this with some Reed's Zero, zero Sugar ginger beer. So the spice is gonna complement the citrus, it's gonna also complement the lemon, and it's like a bootlegger's dream in our it dream. It really is, and our dream, like And you said. our dream, yes. So okay. I don't know if you're gonna, Try this you're gonna one. venture in there. Here we go, everybody. Here we go. The layers, Here I we love go. the layers. Yes, so it's perfect for brunches, perfect for dinners, perfect Ooh, for- Ooh, that's very refreshing. Let me take one more sip. She, I think we have mm. a winner. Do we have a winner? That is, that's the winner, because it's perfect, like you said. That reminds me of a brunch drink. It's refreshing, it yes. wakes you up, and it's not too heavy. Yes, yes, and the best part, you can pick up all these liquors that like BevMo or something like that, you know? Yeah. Very easy to get. Very, very easy, one-stop shop. Well, thank you so much, Paul, for joining us thank here you. on Live in the Bay. As usual, so much fun. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>